Grade 8 Math, number 6.3c, Compare a Graph and a Description. We can use tables, graphs, and equations to compare functions. And as I said in the previous videos, we can compare graphs to graphs, equations to equations, tables to equations, tables to graphs, and now this time we're doing graphs to descriptions. We can see if they're linear or nonlinear, proportional or non-proportional, and we can compare the values. We can compare the slopes. Chris wants to buy a new game system that costs $320. He doesn't have enough money to buy it today, so he compares layaway plans at different stores. The plan at store A is shown on the graph, right here in the pink. Store B wants an initial payment of $80 and weekly payments of $20 until the balance is paid in full. So the first thing we do is write an equation in slope-intercept form for store A's layaway plan. Remember, slope-intercept form is like this. So, this is store A's layaway plan. We write an equation in slope-intercept form for store B's layaway plan. So, this was store A's plan on the graph in the pink, and it wanted us to graph store B's on top of it. So, the pink one was here first, and we can see the values the game system costs $320, and you can see for the pink one, right here, there's a $160 balance due. See? That means he must have paid $160 up front, because the game was initially up here at $320. See? That's the 320 mark. That's how much the game cost. But this is the balance due right when he first starts the layaway plan. So he, we know that the y-intercept B, the red one, had to be 160 for that balance to be 160. And it looks like in two weeks it went down by $20, so that means it was $10 a week. So we knew that our slope-intercept form for our equation was y equals negative 10x plus 160. The 160 was the initial payment, and it's going down $10 a week. So we needed to write an equation in slope-intercept form for store B's layaway plan, and that was an $80 initial down payment and $20 a week. So that's $80 for the y-intercept B minus 20x for each week. So, because it was a $320 game, we came down $80, 20, 40, 60, 80. So that is the initial balance due right here, and each line coming down is $20, so it went down one line each week. And we can see from this that store A, the pink one, is not going to get paid off for 16 weeks. That's almost four months, where Store B's plan, the green one, is going to be paid off in 12 weeks. That's around three months. We can use the graph to find which plan needs a larger down payment. We can see right here, see? The y-intercept for store A is lower than for store B. That means the lower balance is due, so the down payment must be larger. We compare the values for B in the equation. Look at Store A wanted $160 down payment. Store B wanted $80. So that's a huge down payment. That's half of it. We can also use the graph to tell which plan wants a larger weekly payment. The slope rate of change for store B is steeper, so the payment must be larger. See? It's going down quicker. We can compare slope values in the equations. When a slope is steeper, the y value will be greater. Store B's plan pays it off faster. 12 is less than 16. See? So the green one, Store B, he's going to get the game much quicker. He's going to have to make bigger payments. See? But he didn't have to make the big, huge down payment that he had to make with Store A. See? Store A has got littler payments with a huge down payment, and he's not going to get it for a long time, for another month, another four weeks. Store B would probably be the best deal. It's a smaller down payment, and he gets the game quicker. See? When we use tables, graphs, and equations to compare functions, we find the equations for the tables and the graphs so we can substitute numbers into them and compare results. 
So if we wanted to find the y-intercept b or something like that, like we did in the last couple of videos for the tables and the graphs, that helps us. Then we can compare the values. And then we can use those numbers and substitute them in to compare the results. See? All right. We're going to continue on. We're going to keep talking about functions. And our next video is going to be analyzing graphs. Okay? So I'll see you next video. I think you're doing great. Stick with it, and you're going to make it, okay? Bye.